Uh, what is better to use? Uh, what is uh, what does that have to do with the type of person, what they normally enjoy, how long does it take to learn claw, and also like the status about it, uh, and what are the differences between them, and which one is actually better to use, so yeah. Uh, before we start, I have a ton of giveaways that are all going to be happening next week because next week is actually my final week before finals begin. Uh, and yeah, so all those uh, giveaways I will be mentioning very soon. Shout out to Calculator Skills. I'll put his link down in the description below. Definitely go subscribe to him. And if you want to be shouted out in the next video, all you have to do is like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications, become an active viewer of the channel. And hey, if you're someone new, I definitely recommend watching the last highlight video or any other highlight video we have on the channel so yeah and the sniper montages i know they will be coming soon but i'm trying to stick up to the double daily upload uh schedule and so i have to put this how to onto the channel so yeah uh so let's just get started now i'm going to start off just with what's the controversy uh, that's been happening uh, so a lot of thumb players dislike claw or kind of hate on claw players for and I'm actually one of them for the reason that they use it just in my comment section for example I would get a lot of people who use thumbs say the only reason you're so good is because you use claw and I will be explaining why um, I also get comments saying why won't you just do thumb for once or why are you always doing claw uh, yet yeah, there is a huge reason as to why I do it and I'll get started with that but first with thumbs uh, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons with it. Obviously, the cons is that there's just too many buttons for just two fingers. You have to just upgrade it to at least like three or four because honestly, it is an issue with the amount of buttons that this game has already had. I mean, already has. And uh, for people like um, the YouTubers Izzo and I believe his name is Yanrik or something like that, uh, that I was told that they do thumb and they're pretty decent. Uh, it is quite hard to master it, again, with the amount of buttons that are on the screen, but you can get pretty good at it over time. Um, now, the pros of it is that, you know, yeah, I can't really think of one, just, it's pretty much something that everyone has started with. You know, the, when the first mobile games came out, everyone would just do uh, two thumbs. I mean, nobody really knew how to do claw at the point of time. So it's kind of like a traditional type thing. It's something that you learned from the very beginning before even claw or any other fingers that you use has even started. But that's really anything, that, that's the only thing I can really think of that's a, that's a pro with claw. Now, just to start off, it is not something that you can create or anything. It's something that you learn. It's a skill, and it takes a lot of time, to be honest, to, in order to uh, perfect it. I would say about a week all the way to two months, depending on what type of player you are and what type of claw setup that you have. Um, now, claw, you're using four fingers. Some people do three. Some people even do five. I don't know how you do five, but they go as crazy as that, and what helps you is that you get control of every single button on your screen with no issues you know with thumbs you have to you have to tap on one button then you have to move your screen tap again and then move your screen tap again to scope you have to use the same finger you have to scope in and then you have to shoot of course now they have added the, the release um um, the release setting for snipers, so it's going to be actually easier to do that, but what about the ARs? What about the pistols? You know, that's going to also be an issue. Um, with Claw, you don't have that issue. As you can see, I have on the top left of my screen all these buttons right here for my preferences using these type of guns, and it allows me to use one finger, uh, which is shooting, and another thing while it's scoping in, or while it's crouching, or while it's laying on the ground if I need to heal anything like that and it's super super beneficial it's super helpful so I recommend if you're still using thumbs you should definitely move to claw it is honestly super helpful and I know it does take a lot of time but you just have to stop thinking about that and you just have to master it honestly you have to just get through that and once you do you're honestly gonna really enjoy yourself and you're gonna be much better at the game with thumbs you don't really have 
that ability of getting any better. You know, you'll slowly get better, but with claw, it's like extremely advanced. I remember when I began uh, claw, I would get better and better, like three times better every single day. And it was just insane. With thumbs, you don't really get that same type of effect uh, because it's really just the same skill. You know, as I said, you have to move, then shoot, or then you have to tap on the scope, then you have to shoot uh, with the same finger while with claw, you can use two fingers at once doing it at the same time. And that's pretty much what claw really is. And for the people who really hate on it or say, oh, claw just makes the game easier. Well, it's supposed to make the game easier. As I said, it's, it's like an advancement. It's something that makes you better at the game. And so if you're someone who wants to get better at this game, then yeah, you should most definitely move to using claw. But if you're someone who's just playing for fun, it really does not matter at all uh, what you use for this game. I'm obviously someone who plays the game uh, for fun, but also I play the game to get just a little better just in case if I ever want to do competitive for this game.